Good morning. Uh, some people have asked about our hay wagons. We built some big ones several years ago. See them back there. There it is. Uh, great big ones for square bales. And uh, a lot of people ask me this question here, which is, uh, if you can see it there, how come your wagon is painted pink? Well, I'll tell you why it's painted pink. Number one, a pink wagon will always come back home. Nobody wants to run around in a parade with a pink wagon except us. And part of it, uh, I have four daughters and the four girls are the ones that did the work with the hay. And so uh, that's why we had pink wagons. But uh, yeah, it's different. So tonight, as a family, we looked at some of the plans we have for the property. And uh, so we thought maybe we might show an overview. So at some point, uh, Sherry and Lila have some really cool ideas for the house itself, which we'll work on this winter, as well as, as some things to do with the barn here. And uh, also this building, and we're not exactly sure yet. But anyways, so here goes. <music> Here's some of the things we removed. There was a carport here, which is in front of the garage, and there was a carport here, so both of them have been removed. Small little outbuilding here, not sure exactly what that was in its day. It was pretty bad shape, it's gone. Uh, as well as there was a small, very small uh, pile of brush out in here, and so those are gone. Now, as you can see, there's a zillion trees. And actually, one of the things that's interesting about this particular map is uh, there's probably more trees here now than, than what this shows. So I haven't really uh, studied to see when this map was taken, but um, I think there's a few more trees in here. Okay, uh, let's also review that there is a large creek that runs through this property here. Um, some, this one is more like a, just a very small creek. Uh, drainage ditch, drainage ditch, drainage ditch. But anyways, those are there. So it does affect how we fence things off. And uh, so that's something to note there as well. Also, uh, as we go through the fencing, there is loosely what you would call a fence around the property, but it will all eventually have to be, uh, before we put animals in there, will all have to be redone. So uh, right now, there will be a, a gate here at the top of the property. This fence will need to be put in. Uh, we're trying to decide on which type of fence to put in, and we'll talk about that later, uh, at a later date. But gate here, and then a fence that comes around the house. Here's the house, and over onto the barn. Then a fence from the south edge of the property up into the barn lot. The trouble with the hay last time, we decided that we would maybe try to put in a second entrance uh, along this area and we're, we will have to do some looking to see how that how the approach is and then also talk to the county engineer and see if we, if we can be allowed to put in a culver here but we think that that road going out to the barn and then maybe even add a little there's there is a, a lane of sorts through here but there is a little bit of an issue with the well location of that getting things getting getting stuff around it so for example like a cattle trailer and a truck plus coming in here if there's any dirt or manure or any of that stuff it's going to be better not to be dragging that up in front of the house so that's what we're thinking about putting a road right in here so what's cool about this project is it's kind of sort of a clean slate now you have to go with what you've been given so for example the the small little creek here or the large creek um, you're, you have an existing barn, and this is kind of where, for lack of a better term, your headquarters will be for your animals. So Sherry found some different um, uh, setups on Pinterest, of all places, I thought was interesting. But the one uh, was quite neat, and I, I could see how it might work for us. So a couple of three, and in this case four paddocks. Um, it's hard to draw straight, but 
Uh, I'm not exactly sure how this will go right in here yet, but you get the gist of it. And what this orange indicates is a common area. And what we could even do, uh, possibly, is set that up to where the water would be in there. And you could feed individually, uh, daily. Or maybe you would split it, split the water down the middle, and they would come in. But then out of that area, then you could rotate. So like if you were moving, uh, maybe an animal needed to be run through a chute or something, you'd run them into the barn. Or if you were rotating animals into the next pen and then the last pen out or something to that effect. Uh, or if you had a bull or something or even in calving, which is probably more likely is to have that use this in calving. So this is something that we're thinking. But it also helps to direct our efforts in the removal of trees and, and seeing what we need to accomplish to get there. So this is one of the ideas. While I was tinkering with this, then I got to thinking about a couple other things and options that, that might help us. And so uh, I set it, set it up a little differently. So coming in this uh, entry road or the, or the feed road, cattle road, whatever you want to call it, barn lot road, well, I got to thinking about having to feed each one of these uh, pens, and we use primarily round bales, and, and uh, if I've got to go in to these pens, the last scenario wasn't really going to be easy to get in and out. This way, I put a like a feed, feed line road or something like to that effect. I can drive down and back out. Um, I also use this. There will be gates, multiple gates. I can run cattle into the alley and down to the barn to work in, in this common. Then we would put water uh, in these areas to water. Now, one of the things here is, is, is you'd like, to, same as you'd do a house, if you could get water in common areas, for example, on this fence light, I can water both lots, right? This one and this one. But this one becomes a, a, an issue, and uh, I'm not really sure where I want that whether I want it up here towards the barn so the barn would have water or not. And then I've got the issue here. This is an area that would that might be a good bull uh, lot to keep the bull in uh, in the off times that we don't need him. I don't know. I haven't decided. I'm not sure yet. And so um, looking at, at more of these things, and, and this is a work in progress. So if you have any ideas or thoughts, please be uh, feel free to put them in the comments. And that way we can... Uh, all learn together but that's that's part of this and the, and it's the fun part but the also uh the part that makes you nervous you don't want to make a mistake you don't want to do things twice uh put put fence line in and turn around and rip it out or five minutes after you've got it up you realize well that that don't work that type of thing so anyways any any uh advice would be appreciated like and subscribe <laughs> i'll see you in a while Like and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. Ask your questions so we can all learn together. Come and grow with us.